Wednesday the 3rd of March 2021. Today's LF is to write a blurb for a book. Today's LF is to write a blurb for a book. So this is a blurb on the right hand side of the page. A blurb comes at the back of the book and it tells you what might happen in the story. If I was to go into a shop I would read the back of the book which is the blurb to see what the story might have inside. And if I think the blurb isn't very interesting, I wouldn't buy the book because I don't want to read the story. So the author has to make the blurb very interesting so that people that read the blurb will think, oh wow, I need to read that book, so I'm going to buy it now and read the book. So here's the blurb of a famous Roald Dahl book. Roald Dahl is the author. Can you think of the title of this book? And there's a very big clue here. Well done. Fantastic Mr Fox. Have you read this book before? And what type of book do you think it is? Fiction or non-fiction? Now remember, fiction is something that is made up. So it might be an imaginary story. And non-fiction is based on real events that have happened. So this book is fiction because Roald Dahl has made up in his imagination and has written the story. So this is going to be our story for the week. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. She is the same author who wrote The Gruffalo, which you did last week with Mrs Redmar. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the hat but no hat could be found then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws he dropped it politely then eagerly said as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head i'm a dog as keen as can be is there room on the broom for a dog like me yes cried the witch and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then, out from a tree, with an ear-splitting screech, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the birds screeched with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond, the witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the frog bounded on, the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped with joy and... The broom snapped in two. 
Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half of the broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar which was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help! cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon flew nearer, and licking his lips, said, Maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings, like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it stood from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake I'm sorry, he spluttered. I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's insides. Then she filled her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zabbity, zoom. Then out rose... A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog yes cried the witch and they all clambered on the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh they were gone so remember our LF today is to write the blurb for a book now we have some questions what is the blurb of a book and why do books have them? So if we remember, a blurb comes at the back of the book and it tells the reader what is going to happen in the story. And authors need to make this interesting so that people want to read the story. Let's read the blurb of the book Room on the Broom. The witch and her cat are happily flying through the sky on a broomstick when the wind blows up picks up and blows away the witch's hat, then her bow, and then her wand. Luckily, three helpful animals find the missing items, and all they want in return is to ride on the broom. But is there enough room on the broom for so many friends? And when disaster strikes, will they be able to save the witch from the hungry dragon? So, now the author, Julia Donaldson, has wrote this blurb, and has put questions in there so it makes the reader want to read more it entices them to read the book and buy the book to find out what happens so now our task today is to write a blurb for the story room on the broom you can use this to help you the the original blurb but here's one i have made and i have chosen some of the words in the blurb and i have rewritten some things so let's read it together on her broomstick the witch and her cat fly through the sky but the wind picks up and blows her hat and other items away luckily three helpful characters find her missing items and in return they want to fly on her bro on the broomstick with her the broomstick snaps in two will the characters be able to save the witch from the hungry dragon so I have used a question, like Julia Donaldson has, to intrigue the reader. 
and to try and make them want to read on more. Can you use a question in your blurb to make me or Mrs Redmail or any other adults want to read your blurb and the story of the room on the broom? Go into the assignment tabs and this will be on there for today.